Hello and welcome back to Free Code Camp's Applied Accessibility section. This is Make Links Navigatable with HTML Access Keys. It says HTML offers the access key attribute to specify a shortcut key to activate or bring focus to an element. This can make navigation more efficient for keyboard only users. HTML5 allows this attribute to be used on any element, but it's particularly useful when it's used with interactive ones. This includes links, buttons, and form controls. So again, it can be used with any element, but it's more useful when it's used with interactive ones like links, buttons, and form controls. Here's an example. Button has an access key of B, and it says important button. So KemperCat wants the links around the two blog article titles to have keyboard shortcuts so his site's users can quickly navigate to the full story. Add an access key attribute to both links and set the first one to G for Garfield and the second one to C for Chuck Norris. So like it says, we're going to um, look for our two blog articles. Here we have our header article starts here. And then another article is here. So those are two articles. So that's probably what they're talking about. Here we have this idea of first with this href that's empty at the moment. And that doesn't matter too much. But if we go within here, we're going to, like it says, uh, our two blog article titles should have keyboard shortcuts so their users can quickly navigate to the full story. So within, um, our a tag we can doesn't matter where I'll just do it here I can do access key and then do is equal to G for Garfield and the second one would be down here there's a second and we do the same thing go over here do access key and this one will be C for Chuck Norris. So let's run test, see if we pass that. And we did a pass. So the important thing that we learned here is uh, basically what it says. We use it, we can use the access key attribute to specify a shortcut key. Um, and it will bring focus to an element. So this can be added to any element but it's particularly useful when it's used with interactive uh, elements like links, buttons, and forms. We used it in a link here. And again, it just will activate or bring focus to that element for those with, or those keyboard only users. If you're understanding that, you guys are getting this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.